In the Cisco lab, I'm going to explain to you layer two troubleshooting using CAM table or MAC address table. If you are a network engineer or technician, you really need to understand layer two, that is the media access control layer, and should be able to investigate MAC address table because you know layer one is the physical layer, that is the cables and wires and adapters, uh, network cards. So these are physical touchable devices. Next to these physical devices is the layer two. So in the troubleshooting, people go from layer one, two, three and above. So you need to really understand what is happening in the layer two. If you go for an interview for network engineer or technician, you will be asked about layer two. There is no interview without understanding or without asking layer two. So I'm going to explain to you all in this lab. So first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the MAC address table of the switch, enable, show MAC address table. And you can see this MAC address table has been populated. If you don't have the MAC address table populated, what you can do is you can ping a broadcast address in that network. In this case, I'm going to go to PC1. This is not a regular PC. So let's type in ping. It is asking IP protocol is IP. It is asking target IP address. That is 10, 1, 1, 2, 55. Repeat count. Default is five. I'm going to say 10. Datagram size. 1500 timeout in two seconds keep it as default rest of the parameters you always lose the first pink because that is where the app happens okay so it ended and now you can see the same thing again but i'm showing you how to populate the mac address table with all the devices in your network is using a broadcast ip pink so now you can go to the diagram and see this switch has connected to three PCs on it. One, two, three. And you go here, you can see it. One, two, three has the MAC address of these PCs. And you can see it. One has two MAC addresses. So how a port can have two MAC addresses? If that is connected to a different switch, you can see it is connected to another switch in the network. So it will see more MAC address because it normally be a trunk port. There will be a lot of MAC address going through your trunk port. That's why you see multiple MAC address on a particular port. If you want to just filter the MAC address on port ETH1, one, one, because filtering MAC address is a very important skill because if you have a switch and so many devices on that network, your switch MAC address table will be huge. So you should be able to look at a particular MAC address for troubleshooting purpose. So I'm going to show you how to look at MAC addresses on a particular port. So you type in show MAC address table interface give the interface name ETH11, and you can see what are the MAC addresses connected to that particular interface. If you want to see what are the MAC addresses connected to particular VLAN, instead of interface, you can put a question mark. You see, there's a VLAN option. You type in VLAN, and you need to put the VLAN ID here. Now you can see what are the MAC addresses on VLAN 1 and what are the ports associated to that VLAN. Let's try another example how you can filter a MAC address. For example, if you know the PC MAC address, say for example PC1, you know the MAC address and you want to know which port it is connected to, 
for example if this switch is a stacked switch and it has eight switch in the stack you have so many ports so you need to know which port it is connected to to do that issue the command show mac address table and type in pipe sign and to include you can type in the whole address or you can type in the last four digit so i'm going to type in 0 b 0 0 that will bring the port where that mac address connected to another important thing you need to understand about the camp table is the size of the camp table is limited so you can have so many mac addresses in the camp table if the camp table filled up what will happen is your switch will act as a hub and forward all the packets to all the ports which means it started to broadcast all the frames to all the ports because if a switch cannot learn mac address it cannot do unicast forwarding it only can do broadcast forwarding for this reason we have an aging time for a mac address entry to look at the aging time you type in show mac address table aging time the default aging time is 300 seconds so if the switch doesn't see any communication for a particular mac address for more than 300 seconds it will remove that particular mac address from the camp table or mac address table this way it can free up the space for new mac address to be learned by the switch say for example if you have a host that doesn't transmit packets very frequently what will happen is it will age out after 300 seconds and when it start to receive packets or it start to send packets there will be a broadcast so if you want to reduce the broadcast in that particular network you can increase the mac address table aging time but increasing the mac address aging time pose a risk because it can fill up your mac address table and new mac address cannot be learned so you need to be careful if you are going to adjust this default mac address table aging time most of the network admin keep it as default which is 300 seconds but if you want to change it you go to config mac address table aging time and you can define in seconds i can increase that to 600 and and you can see show mac at the stable aging time now it is 600 seconds another troubleshooting thing i want to emphasize here with regard to layer 2 you normally do show int status and you can see connected devices sometime if there's a problem with the layer 2 you will see it is connected but you won't see a mac address if you do not see a mac address on a connected port that means that device is malfunctioning from the layer 2 perspective so you need to reboot that device or that device need to be replaced hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video give me a thumbs up also consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the notification for future video updates